Welcome! I will talk briefly about the history of rope making and do a demonstration of a technique that is little known today but used to be how ropes often were made. Man has made rope for tens of thousands of years and when talking about rope making most people think of rope walks like this but the earliest evidence of this is from 1350. And that was with simple cranks like this, and these with gearing are from the 17th century. This technique requires at least three persons and a large field. But a rope can be made by a single person, indoors, in a small cabin with the technique I'm about to show. This was used at least since the Vikings and up to the last century. Ropes have through the ages been made by many different materials, but most common in the Middle Ages were hemp and bast. Hemp was more expensive and maybe mostly used on ships. Bast was cheap and used in the countryside. Bast are wood fibers usually taken from the inner bark. Lime tree were popular, but you almost cannot buy it today, why I instead will be using bast from palm trees. A rope is constructed by fibers spun together into a yarn that twists to hold it together. And uh, three yarns are laid together into a rope. It's also held together by the twist. The technique I'm about to show requires a reel and a stick with a slit. First, we make the yarn and start by hooking fibers around one of the arms of the reel. When we start spinning the reel, the fibers are spun together. We add more fibers to make it even. Ends of fibers sticking out are trimmed. When we have spun a bit, we can wind it onto the reel and continue spinning. I spin it hard and it should just about want to twist back on itself. The amount of twist is not uh, critical at this stage as we will adjust it later. I massage the yarn to make it even. After a while we reach the desired length. Now I make a knot at the end of the yarn and fasten it to the stick. Then I wrap two thirds of the yarn onto the stick.
Now the spinning is complete and we can start laying the rope. First we make it two stranded by pinching the yarn and let it twist into itself. I will turn the reel and the stick to adjust the twist. The yarns should want to twist themselves around each other. The amount of twisting of the left hand is determined by how much the rope itself wants to twist. And I massage the rope to make it even. It's very important that it is even. And after a while we run out of yarn on the reel. Now the rope is two stranded. Remember that we still have a third of the yarn rolled on the stick. Now we make a second pinch and turn the yarn back onto the rope and worm the yarn in between the two strands. We continue to adjust the twist of the yarn by twisting the stick and turn the reel to adjust the rope. Remember the importance of getting it even. And just like before, we wind the finished length onto the reel. And after a while we have reached the end of the rope. We finish the end by sticking the last strand through the bend of the other two strands. Both ends now look the same and there is no need for whipping as these cannot unravel. After a final trim and stretching, the rope is finished and ready for use. Thank you for viewing and references are in the description.